Look, my title's not deceptive. I'm gonna make you rich by the end of this video. But I won't make you rich in the common sense that I'm gonna add 20 zeros to your bank account. You see, it doesn't matter if you have five bucks in your bank account or five million. If you aren't rich in financial literacy, in other terms, learning about money and how it works, you're quickly are gonna end up broke. This is something we see happening all the time to lottery ticket winners, to athletes, to celebrities that amass a bunch of wealth really quickly without first understanding how to generate it, multiply it, and cash flow it. Today, that's what I hope to achieve to do. And you're gonna start with number one, think like the rich think. If your goal is to one day become financially free, your common knowledge of money that you learned in the middle or lower class just won't cut it. If you wanna be free, you literally need to change how you think about money and how you use it. You'll have to think like the wealthy think. In other words, enrich yourself in financial literacy, even if you only have 30 cents in your bank account. For if you can be wise with very little, you're gonna be wise with a lot. Now, this could be easier said than done, I know, for if you've never been rich, you're probably thinking, how the hell am I supposed to think rich, Jose, if I gotta pay all these bills tomorrow? That's easy. Read more. There are great books you can read like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, The Layman Investor, How to Win Friends and Influence People, Good to Great, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, The Lean Startup, and so much more. Now, one common theme or message all of these books and the rich have in common is one mentality shift. It's simple. Chase problems not money. We live in a capitalist society where you are rewarded in direct correlation to the value you provide. This is great because it's an even playing field for everyone, no matter race, upbringing, or social status. That's why many of the billionaires of the world are self-made. Our capitalist society rewards those who provide solutions, even if they are poor or colored, and that's amazing. So understand this and make a shift. Instead of trying to chase money and hustle, for a quick buck, I want you to grab a seat, sit down, and start thinking of problems, inconveniences, struggles of everyday life, and then what product, service, or software can you create to make those people's lives easier? After that, the money's just gonna roll in. Let me give you a great personal example. I love frames, like I love glasses, and I think it's an accessory that guys and girls can use to look better. Yet you walk into any sunglass hut and every brand is charging you two, 300, 400 for a cheap Chinese product. So I saw the problem, There's a, they're too expensive. The solution is that everybody wants them. So I decided to make a change. Last year, we started Jade Black. What you're seeing here, a line of sunglasses that are made with premium quality like Italian acetate, polarized lenses. These, for example, have blue light blocking technology, all for under 49 bucks. Needless to say, the solution was so good that this company was a seven figure company within one year and most of our frames are always sold out like you can check our website right now. Well, this Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern, we're launching this, our new spring and summer collection, including restocking our Prism collection, which is the blue light blocking technology one, adding new styles, because they're so popular. This summer collection is gonna be absolutely insane. Again, offering a solution of some of the most affordable frames in this luxury sector, and I guarantee you, some of the stuff is gonna go. On top of that, we added prescription. So we're also gonna offer prescription lenses at 75 bucks, which is the most affordable you'll find online considering the materials that we're using. Fully prescribed, delivered to your door, free shipping domestically. And if you're international, we're gonna send you free shipping if you spend over 150 bucks, which is still, still more affordable than just one pair of designer frames. This is better quality and gives you a better solution. So yes, shameless plug, but it's a real life example of what I'm trying to explain to you. And if you wanna see why this product is so good and why everybody loves it, I suggest you put a reminder on your phone. This Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern, June 20th, our new collection for Jade Black is dropping and I want you to be there. Let's keep going with this video. Start investing. When it comes to investing, don't follow those day traders or forex traders that supposedly know everything. Research shows that they rarely ever turn a profit. It's borderline gambling. Instead, wait, why is it even dark in here? I don't even day trade. Instead, when you invest, relax, chill, sit back, adopt a buy and hold method 
Like Warren Buffett, invest in companies you believe in and hold for 10, 20 years because they almost always yield positive returns. The stock market's natural progression over time is always up. Stop trying to listen to these day traders. If they were this good, they would be Warren Buffett themselves. Now here's the great part. When it comes to investing, all of us can do it. You can down download apps like Acorns, Webull, Robinhood. There's a million apps that you can use and you can start investing for as low as like five bucks and buying stocks here and there. So it's something that all of us can practice. Class is in session, boys. Because for number four, well, that's actually a business we're working on. Talk about problem solution. This is what I wanna show you. For number four, I'm about to teach you a lesson on budgeting because guess what? If you wanna be rich, you have to start treating your own wealth like a company. And what do companies do? They budget. So treat, think of your money, whether it's $5 or 500 that you have in your bank account, as a pie, a big old pie, right? 50% of that pie should go to your needs. Stuff like your car, your groceries, your utilities, your house, your, your insurance, your car payments, all that stuff goes into your needs. So when you have your paycheck, Save 50% for that. The 30%, this is called the 50, 30, 20 rule, right? 30% are your wants. Wants are self-explanatory. These are your shopping, your food, things that you want but technically don't need. 30% of your income goes into your wants. And finally, for 20, your savings. Again, self-explanatory. Your savings are your investments, whether it's in real estate, in the stock market and an ETF. Maybe you want to put your savings under your mattress because you may, you are old school. Whatever it is, you want to have an emergency fund and 20% is a good healthy amount that you're always going to have something secure. But you're going to be like, Jose, Jose, what if my needs are bigger than just 50%? Well, you got two things. You either A, need to make more money or B, cut down your needs, right? Because if your house costs 3000 a month, Maybe find something a little bit smaller, around 1500, and that way you can live a comfortable life that's budgeted in the 50, 30, 20 rule, so you are able to make more money. And finally, number five, something I do every morning, check your bank account. See, a lot of people avoid their checking, their savings, and their credit card accounts because it's a form of trying to make their problem disappear. If you don't see it, you don't know it. But what happens is you end up overspending. But if you check it every day, it's a form of keeping yourself accountable. If you know you only have eight bucks in your bank account and your credit cards are max maxed out, you're less likely to overspend throughout the day. This is no different than stepping on a weight scale every day, which I suggest you do, because when you do this, you can see your weight every morning. If you see it gradually going up, it's a way to keep yourself accountable to maybe not eat as much during the day or hit the gym that day. You gotta do the same thing with your finances. Boys, that's it for me today. I promised you, didn't I? I told you I was gonna make you rich by the end of the video. Now I get it, don't get mad at me. It's maybe not the richness that you want, but it's the richest that you, it's the richness that you need. Rich is in here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop us the like, a like down below. Also, boys, don't forget that Jay Black launches this Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern. That's it for me today. See you next.